What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Cardinal Red, and we back with some more of that Ali Land boxing talk, people. And today we talking Manny Pacquiao update today. Pacquiao hits his prime. Uh, you know, there's a lot of talk about Pacquiao, you know, being old and, uh, you know, once a boxer hits a certain age, then you kind of become, uh, Yesterday's news, to put it lightly, uh, and you know, in life, when you hit a certain age, you become yesterday's news. You know, life is about the young people, and you know, young young people don't want to do anything that's considered old, man, uh, and they don't want to have anything to do with anything considered old. But Pacquiao, it, to me, he's not. You know, life, you're only old in life when you decide to be old. And, you know, unfortunately for a lot of people in life, they, uh, they decide to be old. And, and for most young people, they don't, uh, they don't strive or achieve to be old. You know, they, they, especially nowadays. Life is so much uh, based off of the here and the right now that nobody thinks about the uh, tomorrows, you know, and not tomorrow, but tomorrows, you know, how many tomorrows are you actually going to see, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, in, in boxing, like I said, man, in boxing and, and in life. Nobody wants to be affiliated with anything old until you become or you decide to be old. So, uh, when you look at Manny Pacquiao and and him hitting his prime, I say he hits his prime because to him he is hitting his prime. He's hitting his stride, uh, whether it's for the first time, the second time, the third time, or the umpteenth time. As long as you believe that you're you're going to achieve your goal. Uh, I really don't, I don't think the, the number that you're placed with really matters in life, you know. It's, uh, it's, it's more of how much work are you going to put in? And are you working harder than the next person, you know? Because everybody's goal in, in life isn't the same. Uh, and it, it, that's really becoming more and more apparent to me. You know, it might not be to everybody, but to me, uh, in in the sport of boxing and in sports in general and in life in general, uh, you know, people are becoming, uh, you know, the, the, you know, people are becoming less, you know, interested in in putting the work in to achieve something. They're becoming more interested in, in what can I get right now with the least amount of work, with the least amount of effort, man, you know. Uh, and, and, and in sports, and, in, and especially in boxing, if you're not, if I'm working harder than you, I should, I deserve the victory, you know what I'm saying? I deserve to win. Uh, but unfortunately, everybody doesn't have that same mentality, man. Everybody doesn't, uh, Everybody doesn't strive to be great. Everybody doesn't want to, you know. I, I feel like the difference between Pacquiao and the fighters of today, a lot of, not all of them, but most of them, is his his hunger to be great, his hungerness to be great matches his effort, you know, his willingness to, to get in the ring and give it his all, whether he wins or loses. You know what I'm saying? And... In life, you know that in life that should dictate who wins and loses, but in the real world, it don't dictate who wins and loses. You know, uh, in in the real world, you know, sometimes you can buy a victory. In in the real world, sometimes you can be given victories. You know what I'm saying? And and you might not really deserve them, but uh, he who works the hardest should be the victor. And I feel like Manny Pacquiao wins in life a lot of the time. And with fans, it's because 
he puts the work in. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he he gives the willingness to to win, so he wins with the fans. And whether he wins the fight or not, you know, at the end of the day, pleasing the fans should be the main goal. You know, once you made umpteen millions of dollars, like you know a Floyd Mayweather, what what else is there to prove to people other than you you care? about entertaining them, what they pay you for, you know. Uh, I feel like that, that gets lost in translation in sports a lot of the time, too, <clears throat> is that people look at fans as fanatics rather than people, you know. Uh, I mean, let me say it right. Athletes look at fans as fanatics instead of people. Uh, athletes look at fans as commodities to me nowadays. They don't look at fans as, as people and somebody enjoying your entertainment and willing to, to work seven days a week to make money to watch you entertain them. You know what I'm saying? I think there's a big disconnect between that now because athletes make so many, much money. It, it The money disconnects the athlete from the fan. You know, it's to the athlete it's all about the dollar to the fan, it's, 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 it's all about the entertainment. And unless you, you get some chance meeting the, to meet the entertainer or, you know, y'all paths cross by some chance, some chance of life, then, you know, they'll never know you existed. You know what I'm saying? And, and it, it, can, it can make the athlete into an egomaniac because... All he cares about is the money at that point. The fan is is uh, is uh, a second thought. Manny Pacquiao never, you know, he never does. He he doesn't have this problem for some reason, you know. Unlike most fighters, he, he's the one fighter who doesn't seem to have the disconnect between himself and the and the fans, uh, and that can only lead back to the fact that he was homeless, and he knows the bottom of the barrel, and. and Maybe he feels like if he turns his, you know, and he starts acting like everybody else, he's going to end up back at the bottom of the barrel. And I think when most, you know, especially for black entertainers, once they get to the top, they never think about the bottom of the barrel again. So <laughs> I, I guess that's what separates Pacquiao from the rest of the pack, man. And uh, I feel like that's why he's able to hit his stride. You know, he's able to hit his prime. At 40 years old, he's able to say, he's able to be the only boxer, uh, maybe besides Bernard Hopkins and George Foreman, who can say, uh, I'm in my prime at 40 years old, or I'm in my prime in my later stages of my career. You know, you thought you got a show when I was younger, just wait and see, you know what I'm saying? Just wait and see, you know, the best is yet to come. Uh... And, you know, for Manny Pacquiao, I feel like he's the one guy who deserves, he's put the work in, he's put the work in, not only in the boxing ring, not only uh, serving his people, serving his fan base, but doing it the right way, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, here lately, we've got a lot of, a few fake fights, and, and I don't want to blame, but I feel like it's dragging the sport of boxing down, personally. Uh, but we're not going to point fingers and blame because guys got to make money. You know, it's rough out here. This is a, uh, it's, it's rough out here. Just put it that way, man. Uh, and guys got to make money, man. Everybody got families to feed. So, you know, uh, we, we are, we're not going to be a hater on, on somebody eating. But I feel like it is dragging the sport now. Uh, you know, Manny Pacquiao, I feel like, is a uh, not only a uh, a showmanship uh, should have turned that off. Not only does he have showmanship and and and, uh, and humility, but he's the uh, he's the old man with with the power of youth, and he's hitting his prime at forty years old, man. Uh, as Ali Lamb boxing talk for now. I always say this, if you know any homeless people, man, uh, you don't know what those people went to to get to that point in their life. 
Uh, they're just people. If you have time, man, take take one minute out of your life to uh, offer them something, man. Some leftovers, some scraps, whatever you got left, man. Offer it to them. Talk to them for one minute. You know, you might find out something amazing. Uh, these are still people. And uh, maybe all they need is a uh, one minute. You know, that might be the thing that pulls them up. You know what I'm saying? If you need any boxing gear, hit that description box. I always leave me a like, subscribe. We out of here.